What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna look at CleanSpark's recent mining update that just dropped today. I overslept a bit. I looked at my phone and saw how down these miners were. And I think my body naturally just wanted to sleep it off. But yeah, it is a very red day for the Bitcoin miners right now. Bitcoin pulled back a little bit. And overall, small caps in general are pretty much selling off very hard today. But let's take a look at this CleanSpark Bitcoin mining update. If you like these videos, consider hitting the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And let's start it off. So here is the September Bitcoin mining update, and I will leave a link down below for you to get to this site. And remember, September was the last month in this quarter, which is CleanSparks end of fiscal year 2023, and they ended their fiscal year with 2,240 Bitcoin on their balance sheet. That is a stark contrast, <clears throat> excuse me, that was a stark contrast to where they were only a few months ago with a very low Bitcoin balance. So I love to see that they're actually adding to their Bitcoin balance and they're taking it very seriously right now. I do think that'll play out in their favor over the coming months. And as for their Bitcoin production, fiscal year 2023's Bitcoin production is up 84% compared to their fiscal year 2022's production. And their hash rate is up 131% compared to their fiscal year 2022 end. And they mined 6,903 Bitcoin during their fiscal year, which represents October 1 to the end of September. And Zach Bradford, the CEO of CleanSpark, said, we had our best quarter and best fiscal year ever. We have a proven track record as the best operator in North America. Our efficiency is up. Our energy costs are among the best in the industry and our facilities are running at max capacity. I'm especially proud of our operational teams and leaders who day in and day out demonstrate grit as we outpace our peers as one of the leading vertically integrated Bitcoin miners in North America. And as a side note, I think they are a much better value than Mara, than Riot, for example, when you're looking at market cap to hash rate. Now getting into the details of this mining update, they mined 643 Bitcoin in September, and in the year 2023, they mined 5,372 Bitcoin. And as I said in their fiscal year 2023, which represents October, so a little bit before the beginning of 2023, October 2022 to September 30, 2023, their Bitcoin mined was nearly 7,000 or specifically 6,903. And as I said earlier, their total Bitcoin holdings are currently 2,240. They sold 80 Bitcoin in September, and that was an average of approximately 26,800 per Bitcoin. So less than they sold their Bitcoin in the previous month. Sales of this Bitcoin gave them proceeds of approximately $2.2 million, and their September daily Bitcoin mined average was 21.43, and they reached a high of 22.59. And comparing that to August, they did see a slight improvement. In August, they mined an average of 21.26, and they reached a high of 22.11. So they had a very slight improvement there. And we do have an operational update for Sandersville. The steel structure and roof for building one are complete, and the indoor switchgear has been placed. The structures for building two and three are in progress, and indoor switchgear has been placed for building two. The remaining seven mining buildings are in various stages of construction, from underground conduit installations to slab concrete for the structures and transformers. No serious delays have been reported, and site construction remains on track for year-end completion. Now, I will say this, because they left it out in this mining update, I have mentioned this before, however, I think it's important that everybody understands this. While they did have a 16 exahash year end goal, they would have likely reached this if it wasn't for the power provider. They gave a previous update where they said the power provider essentially has to do some small things and these will take until the beginning of 2024. Quoting their last mining update, the related power line project that connects to the substation is expected to push into early 2024, after which time miners will be promptly energized to achieve CleanSpark's target of 16 exahash. So we do have to wait until 2024 for this. So remember, there is a slight delay to that 16 exahash target. It will not be reached by the end of this year. But let me know what you guys think about CleanSpark's mining update. Are you happy with it? Are you a bit disappointed? Would you have liked to see more Bitcoin sold? And hash rate wise, they really haven't grown much compared to August. They gave us a 9.3 hash rate update in August and now we're at 9.6. So we had some growth, but as the time goes by, I think people are waking up and realizing that we aren't going to get that close to that 16 exahash target by the year end. The reality is once these Sandersville buildings get fully set up, it'll be a matter of just getting those machines in and we will see that exahash increase very fast by the year end. But I think people are a little bit disappointed that month over month we didn't see much hash rate growth. And as we're getting closer to the end of the year, 
people are probably starting to think, oh man, they have a lot of exahash growth over the next couple months. Are they gonna make it? Are they even gonna get to the teens? Well, I think that is very likely. However, as said in the August mining update, they're gonna have to wait until the new year to get to 16 exahash because of the power provider. Now I did wanna show you one thing on the chart. There's a lot to look at, but I do wanna show you this important ascending channel that we have been following since December of 2022. So for nearly a year now, but we are coming very close to the support line on this channel. And if we bounce here, this is confirmation of this channel. And to be fair and to be realistic, we have only bounced off of this level one time. However, this has been the general trend. You can see where the trend has followed. So I do think a bounce here confirms this ascending channel. However, a failure confirms this descending channel, these yellow lines here. So that's really what I'm watching for chart-wise on CleanSpark. And I've noticed a lot of people have just suddenly become bearish because of this rough red day. And I believe that regardless, you know, if we fail this, if we sell off a little bit more, I do see CleanSpark as a very strong buy. And it's just funny how people change their minds so quickly. Just a week ago when Bitcoin was right around 25, bounced off of its important major support at 25. Now we're up around 28, pulling back a little bit and suddenly people are just getting so pessimistic. Well, you gotta realize we are now pretty well over 25K, which is where we were only a week, two weeks ago. I'm not worried in the least about Bitcoin about CleanSpark, about these miners, they will make it right through the end of this year. And the halving is only around the corner. This is a golden opportunity in my eyes to buy before we get into that parabolic bull run. Time is ticking. Thanks as always for watching guys. Let me know what you think about CleanSpark below. Do you think we're going lower? Do you think we're gonna bounce here? And how do you feel about the Bitcoin mining update? Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you later.